Good morning, Lou. Good morning, everyone. Well, I've been busy in the studio the last few days creating uh, art materials and art supplies for people. And I wanted to remind all of you that a sketchbook is not just for designers or quote unquote artists. A sketchbook is actually an incredibly powerful tool that can be beneficial to all of us all ages, at home, at play, at work. And what I love about a sketchbook is it's your own personal portable uh, collection of thoughts and ideas. Uh, it's a beautiful place for you to experiment, express yourself, uh, explore different techniques and mediums. And a sketchbook can come in a variety of shapes and sizes and materials. And I have found that when I create my own art supplies or my own art materials, I really do get a richer art experience and I absolutely love how they feel. I love working with them. They're very inviting and uh, it's just very satisfying overall. So I wanted to share with you this morning uh, a really easy way to create some of your own uh, sketchbooks. And this is probably not so much a sketchbook per se, but more of a canvas book. Each of these pages within this book are heavier weight and they are designed to be each be their own little individual canvas. They're going to support your paintings and this entire book is made out of fabric and different textiles so it's very simple to create uh, and again you're working with life's leftovers so you can work with what you have we love that and for this size of a book which i find to be very manageable and portable i think this is a nice size I'm working with pieces of fabric that I have cut to, they're six by nine inches in size. And you wanna work with a heavier weight fabric. So uh, if you have some canvas or maybe some upholstery fabric is what I like to work with uh, in some lighter neutral colors. Uh, for this type of a book, I'm layering up five sheets of that fabric. And so I'm gonna have a nice little 10 page book when I'm finished. So you're gonna layer up all of those pages and you'll notice on the cover here, I've also stitched, I took another little piece of fabric and stitched a pocket on the front here, which I'm gonna talk about here in a minute. Uh, and you'll also notice that all of these uh, pages, I cut them all out with pinking shears, but um, you'll notice they're gonna fray a little bit. You're gonna have some of these fibers uh, hanging down. I leave all of that. I love how that feels. Some of these can, uh, uh, you be used as placeholders and bookmarks, uh, and it just really adds to the character of your finished book. Then to bind it, uh, I just simply take it to the sewing machine, and I'm going to run a stitch right down the center of it uh, to finish it off, or you could stitch it by hand. You could even maybe play around with some glue to get that into place, but again, work with what you have, whatever method works best for you. Uh, you can change it up, you know, and, and make it your own, but then once you have it stitched together, you've, you've got this beautiful beautiful book. You need to prime and get all of these pages ready for you to come back in and paint and explore. And to do that, you're just going to use uh, some of that gesso I also talk a lot about uh, to prime all of these pages. You're going to brush a couple of coats on. Again, you could use some primer. But what this is gonna do, this is gonna stiffen up that fabric beautifully, and each one of these pages then is gonna be its own nice freestanding uh, little canvas within uh, this book. And one, all your paintings in one little spot. It's a wonderful thing. Now the pocket that is on the front of this that, um, I had mentioned to you, this is for you to slip inside uh, if you have an expired gift card or a credit card, maybe an old hotel key. Uh, that's for this pocket. And then I have a couple more off to the side there that I can slip some little paint brushes or some other writing utensils inside there because this is a beautiful um, book to take out. It's great for traveling. It's great if you wanna go out and do some field work because with that little card in there, you have your own little built-in ready-made paint palette. It's a great place for you to mix up your paints and things. You've got your brush built in, but uh, this is really, uh, it's an inviting book uh, to work within. It's easy to create. You're working with leftovers. I think you once you make one, you'll be making many, many more. And I have found that when you thoughtfully equip yourself with uh, materials that invite you to create, the art of remaking life every day becomes a reality.